Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. And a look now at the Detroit Pistons' upcoming schedule. On Monday, they kick off a road trip at Oklahoma City where they'll take on the Thunder. And then on Wednesday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Portland Trailblazers. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. They've got Victor Wimbanyama, and it's Kukoc in at the small forward position. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? The shot by Jamison, no good. Here's Wimbanyama. Detroit with a rebound. Coming off a win against the Hornets. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. Yeah, they sapped the energy right out of the building in that one. They just were knocking down threes. And it was deflating both for the team and the crowd. Man, we have to take another look at that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. Jordan against Carter. Kukoc, the pass to Jordan. To the inside. Ooh, stolen by Gasol. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Jordan against Carter. Using his post moves to get the two points. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. To the middle. Here's Wimbanyama. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. Well, Grant, before he even hit the league, Wimbanyama was touted as the next big star from afar. You know, B.A., playing in a foreign pro league added to his mystique, B.A. We weren't getting the exposure to his game. It made it easy to wonder just how great he would be here. Just two to shoot. The shot by Jamison, no good. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet. Only one of four from the field. Here we go. He's all alone. Flushes it down to finish the break. And Batum sees the fast break and begins to get out there, making him the right option to finish it as he's ahead of the pack. Here's Stockton, guarded by Peyton. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Jordan, launches it. Batum pulls it in. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Gasol. He had 10 points in the win against Charlotte. Here's Jamison. Trains the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Bulls have gone two for five here in the first. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Stockton. Wimbanyama with it. Checked by Gasol. From deep, Jordan. Good. And the assist to Wimbanyama. Jordan's got five. What a smart pass from Wimbanyama. Already adept at scanning the floor and finding open teammates. Batum, pass to Payton. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Gasol, rebound by the Bulls. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. Oh, they dominated this team a season ago. They beat them every time they played. Yeah, it was a completely one-sided season series, and that was no surprise to anyone. This first game between them should give us an idea if they're on a little more even ground this season. Jordan with the bucket. Well, that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. There's a screen. Carter from outside. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Chicago leading. 
Here's Rodman. Here's Kukoc. Batum pulls it in. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's Rodman, guarded by Payton. Rodman, the pass to Kukoc. Here's Stockton. The Bulls need to get off a shot. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Gasol. Talking about the Detroit Pistons. This is a team that has lacked star power recently, Brent. Well, they've drafted some guys that are still hoping to be potential stars in the league. And B.A., there might be a couple guys on that roster right now that can do that. But front office is trying to find somebody where they can put a stake in the ground and say, this is our star, and this is who we're moving forward with. And that misses. That would have put him up. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Stockton, the pass to Kukoc. Pass to Rodman. Here's Kukoc, guarded by Batum. Batum with the defensive effort. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Here's Peyton. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Now that makes it a tie ball game. And if you give Batum some time to survey the floor, he'll find an open teammate. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. McDaniels is checked in for Detroit. Porter Jr. comes in for Batum. And a quick pause here. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and check out last season's best shot blockers. Well, you look at Claxton, a remarkable defender, second in the NBA. And, of course, Brooke Lopez doing some great work. This guy's a tremendous rim protector. The way these two guys patrol the floor, it's impressive. It changes how the offense attacks, especially inside. And now the Pistons in transition. Porter from outside. And it's Chicago with a board. Here's Stockton. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Lopez. There's the double team with Carter. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. The Pistons making a switch here. Detroit has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Outside Peyton with the drive. Rejected by Lopez. Well, Lopez has size and great instincts. That makes him a threat to knock shots away like that. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's Stockton. Peyton with a steal. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. That puts him in the lead. Peyton's got his second basket on the night. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Pistons. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. They've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. You got to keep that head up, and Levine knows that. Able to hit his man in stride there. Pass to Payton. Rejected by Lopez. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Here's Harrington. Here's Levine for three. Rebounded by the Pistons. And here's Peyton. A 14-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you can tell he takes pride in that part of the game. Here's Jamison. 
and he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First, man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for two, Antoine Jamison. Shoot two. And he drops the first. That one falls, so he hit. Both of them. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Pistons on top. They're up by two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And guys, what's your take on the Pistons so far? Well, you have to love their activity level at the defensive end. Racking up those steals. So they really made a lot of good quality reads down there. Took some chances, but feeling more calculated than risky. On the court for Chicago. They've got C.J. McCollum. Zach Levine out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Jordan in a two-guard. Now here's Jordan. Last game out, we saw him score 42. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Kittles can't get it to go. Chicago trailing here. McCullough, the pass to Levine. Tipped. They recover it. Now Jordan. And he gets the bucket. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. For Detroit, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Kittles. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Now here's Jordan. 11 points in the game. And here's Lopez. Jordan misses. And Grant, a positive for the Bulls over the last few seasons. They work hard to get good shots. Well, B.A., that's definitely part of their DNA. They've had the personnel to do it, and guys who are disciplined and patient. Pass to Jamison. Down to five on the shot clock. Harrington with a rebound. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Launches a three. McDaniels with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. A nice shot by Kittles. Kittles has got five points in the quarter. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. And slam dunk by Jordan. 
Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And there it is for him. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, really good ball movement on the entire possession. And then CJ getting slick. And the ball out of play. The Bulls will have it. And here's a look at the top shooters last season. No wasted chances among this group. Well, you look at Claxton topping the chart with his efficiency. And last year, he led the league in field goal percentage, allowing the game to come naturally and taking whatever opposing teams gave to him. Jordan, the pass to Wimbanyama, and the shot goes. Wimbanyama's gotten his second bucket. All too easy for Wimbanyama. He feels like no one can defend him inside. And there's the lob, and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. McCullum into the lane. Pass to Kukoc from behind the arc. Claxton with a rebound. For Detroit, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Jamison. Fades back. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Now here's Jordan, guarded closely. Pass to Wimbanyama. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. I'll tell you. It's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> and it's going to be out of bounds. Detroit will have another goal. I'll tell you what, they're really fortunate there. Those long bomb passes usually spell disaster, but they get away with one there. Carter, he's checked in for the Pistons. And the Bulls making a change here. Outside Peyton. Outside Carter. Let's it go from the wing. And he hits the jumper. And the Pistons lead by one. Well, Brent, something that can get overlooked. How a player fits in on a team can make all the difference. Well, that fit, B.A., depends on where your team is in, in the arc of your competitiveness. So if you need one guy to put you over the top in your team winning 50 games, then you've got to get the right fit. Otherwise, really, teams and rosters are exploring talent, developing talent, until they get to that point where fit becomes the foundation for what they're going to do for something special. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Jordan. 15 points in the game. Misfire there. Now 7 for 11. Now here's Carter. Defense right on him. To the left side wing. Batum, pass to Carter. Five to shoot. The rebound by Kukoc. The Bulls have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. Pass to Wimanyama. And here's Jordan. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wimbanyama. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie the Force. CJ McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Jordan. Oh, nice D from Carter. Outside Peyton. Back to Carter. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. With his length and energy, Wimbanyama has the ability to be a game-changing defender. Here's Stockton. And Carter with the block. Peyton against Jordan. Here's McDaniels. 
Here's Claxton. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. The Bulls making a switch here. Levine's checked in. First personal foul. First team foul. And that one misses. Well, Brent, when you look at the Detroit Pistons, a team that has really struggled recently. Well, that's what youth will do for you. It's really hard to win in this league, and these young guys are learning how to get out and compete on a nightly basis. They are searching for an identity. Hopefully, they'll have the health this year to see some of their young talent really take to it and take those strides. Gasol's checked in for the Pistons. Carter can't get it to go. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. A minute 15 left in the second quarter. Levine passes to Wembanyama. Here's Kukoc to win the cold spell. Yes! And it's Wembanyama picking up the assist. Wembanyama's got three assists tonight. Outside Peyton. 50 seconds left in the first half. Here's Jamison. Fires in the triple. Jamison's got eight. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Levine finds Wimbanyama. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Detroit has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. And that one's good. And it's a six-point Pistons lead. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Detroit Pistons. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. Over Levine. Carter can't get it to go. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Outside Levine. The Bulls with another miss. Got it up. Not going to go that time. And so it's the Detroit Pistons with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to halftime. Well, if I'm looking at what they did well, uh, first thing comes to mind is rebounding. A lot of hustle points off extra possessions. And changing gears now, looks like we've got some great interactions on social media. Appreciate you joining us. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Here's Peyton. We've got Nicholas Batum, and it's Jamison in at the four. And that's the group for Monty Williams as we begin the second half. Gasol misses. Chicago trailing here. Right side, Levine. Pass to Kukoc. Three-pointer. At the arc, Zach Levine. And Levine knows he has the green light to take these shots, and his confidence is really impressive. Detroit calls timeout. The Pistons making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. And here we have last season's best free throw shooting teams. Number five, the Bulls. Well, it was a big focal point for them last season, making good on their trips from the free throw line. Well, the Pistons shooting 41% in this game. Carter on the wing. Gasol, the screen. Looking to get back on track. And it's Chicago with the board. They'll take on the Pacers at Gainbridge Fieldhouse after this one. That'll be their second of three games total on this road trip. Kukoc, the pass to Wembanyama. Doubled by Payton. For the tie. Stockton's shot is off. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. 
Pass to McDaniels. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Chicago's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Stockton, guarded by Payton. Stockton, pass to Levine. Connects from downtown. Levine. Levine's got six points. And with how well Levine attacks the bucket, defensively, you almost have to give him space to shoot threes. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. And it's out of bounds to the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. Chicago has gone 2 of 3 from outside so far in the third quarter. Kukoc, the pass to Wembanyama. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Mark Gasol. Well, it's not hard to get excited about what Wembanyama could potentially bring to the league, Grant. Yeah, I mean, possibly some of the biggest hype we've seen, B.A., Unreal ball skills at seven foot four, and he's got that drive to be the greatest. Now here's Peyton. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Carter on the wing. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Wimbanyama's got rebound number eight now. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Outside Carter. Back to Daniels. Pass to Gasol. Uses the glass on the layup. Gasol's got his first two points. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Chicago's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Jordan goes in, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marc Gasol. That'll be a second foul of the game, and you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Here's Jordan. And Gasol with the block. Oh, this is what Gasol can do at over seven feet. Big blocks and constant pressure on the shooters. Hayden passes to Carter. Elbow shot on the way. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. A moment here for an injury report. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for Detroit provided some information. Unfortunately, the injury looks pretty serious. Any injury is the last thing you want this early in the year. A bad break for them, Brian. All right, Allie, thank you. Sadly, that's not the news fans were hoping for, guys. Definitely not. Seems like he's got a long, tough road ahead of him. Yeah, and this makes it particularly rough for this team. Other teammates now are going to have to step up, and it seems like it's going to be an extended period of time, so not easy to do. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. For Chicago, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Right wing. Here's Kukoc, guarded by Batum. Kukoc, the pass to Stockton. Jordan goes in, and slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. The Pistons leading. Carter, the pass to Payton. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Batum. Now 
Carter finds Gasol. Now here's Peyton. Back to Gasol. Shot clock at five. Here's Porter. It's hauled in by Wimbenyama. Wimbenyama's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Kukoc. And here's Jordan for the lead. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. A tight one here in Detroit. Peyton with it. He's got six. Good D by Wimbanyama. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Pass to Stockton. Peyton with a steal. Outside Carter. There's the triple. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Here's Stockton. No points yet. Here's Jordan. Rodman, the pass to Jordan. Just five on the clock. Here's Kukoc. And again, Chicago, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Jamison. And there's a three-second call. This one on the defense. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pistons. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Jameson passes to Peyton. And here's Carter. He's covered by Levine. Six to shoot. Levine against Carter. Rebound by the Bulls. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. He makes a first. The Pistons making a switch here. That one drops. He ties it up. 146 left to play in the third quarter here. Carter against Levine. Shoots a fadeaway. Counted. Good. Carter's gotten four this quarter. Here's Levine. He's got nine. to Stockton to the wing right side here's Kukoc and so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair and they've been playing with much greater physicality this half getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust McDaniels is checked in for the Pistons both good from the line that time Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third Kittles passes to Porter. Three-pointer, no good. And so it's Wimbanyama with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Pass to Kukoc. 56 seconds left in the third. Back to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. End of quarter management here. They can go two for one. Make the math work in your favor. A defensive breakdown. Can't afford to leave them open from range. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Porter. 29 seconds left in the third. Right side, Levine. Here's Wimbanyama. Levine finds Wimbanyama. Some solid defense from Claxton. Detroit has gone one of four here in the third from range. 
Pass to Jamison. Now here's Porter. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. And it's a five-point Detroit lead. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Pistons on top. They lead by five. And we've got more NBA action on two. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And for Chicago, let's take a look. They've got Brooke Lopez. C.J. McCollum is out there with Zach Levine. And it's Jordan in at the two spot. Here's Peyton outside McDaniels. And now the Bulls in transition. For three, McCollum. And the three-pointer goes. C.J. just so smooth and is a marksman from three. And the Pistons shooting just under 40% from the field. Order the pass to Peyton. It's hauled in by the Bulls. On the wing, Levine. Guarded by Batum. Levine can't hit. Levine's gone three of nine shooting. McDaniels from long range. And it's Jordan with the rebound. For Chicago, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Levine. And here's Jordan to take the lead. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. On the wing, Porter. They need this. Hits a three-pointer. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. McCullum against Payton. From downtown. And Levine gets it to go on the assist by McCullum. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Here's Payton. Sweet little floater. Chicago has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Here's Jordan, and slam dunk by Jordan. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Pass to Peyton. Claxton with it, driving inside. Comes up empty down low. Peyton against McCollum, and he lobs it up. It's picked off. Batum outside. Now here's Porter. Outside Peyton. High post Claxton. Five on the clock. Outside McDaniels. The three is up. Rebound by the Bulls. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Peyton against McCullum. Left side, Levine. Doubled by Peyton. Out to McCullum. Three-pointer. And he recovers it. Back to Jordan. Shot clock at six. To the right side. Here's Harrington. He's guarded by Claxton. Back to Jordan. Here's Levine for three. Counted from distance. Time out, time out. Levine's got 15 points in just the second half. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. 
All right, let's get a report from Ellie. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. Point blank, he wants better shot selection. He told them, we're settling, guys. Come on. We're not being patient out there. We're not working the ball around. That has to change right now. Okay, thank you, Allie. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Stockton, pass to Kukoc. And there's the drive. The shot's good by Stockton. Stockton's gotten his first basket of the night. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Payton passes to Jamison. Now Gasol. With to Mark. They shoot again. Pass to Jamison. Fires for three. There's the three. Rebound by the Bulls. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Shots good by Kukoc. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Carter against Jordan. Gasol a screen on Jordan. Carter from outside. Sends it home from three-point land. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Jordan. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be... Nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Oh, oh hey, oh. how about that? That's impressive. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Jordan against Carter. Here's Gasol. Oh! Rejected by Wimbanyama. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. A great job to establish position and square up. Detroit calls timeout. They're losing by 10. 136 left in the fourth quarter here. Six left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 17 to 7 run. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Carter finds Batum. Now here's Gasol. The D's right on him. Again, the miss by the Pistons. The Bulls shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Bulls. When you look at the stat sheet, it's impressive this wasn't a total blowout. Their offense was in top gear all night long, Grant. I thought the same thing, B.A. I mean, the difference in field goal percentages is pretty shocking. And this one concludes with their second victory of the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Stockton, guarded by Payton. Shot 
Shot clock at three. Pass to Jordan. Some solid defense from Gasol. And now the Pistons in transition. Oh, they get a hand on it. Yeah, such a difficult frame to guard. Wimbenyama draws the foul easily. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Wimbenyama. And the foul called on Victor Wimbenyama. That'll be a second foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We leave you now with our New Balance Player of the Game.